Alright, as the zombies and the skeletons are burning, let's dig away my little crow's nest up here that I've made. Uh, pickaxe. And then the rest of them are wool, I think. Let's see, which way did I go? Okay. Ah. One thing that I uh, haven't seen yet and would really enjoy coming across is uh, the jungle biome. I've only seen videos of them, um, but they look really cool, and I wish that I could find them somewhere. Although a lot of the times when I say things like that, I actually end up coming across uh, those kinds of things, so who knows? Maybe that's a jungle biome right there. I don't think so. But I just like the really tall trees and stuff like that. I think I remember that huge hill right there. Seems like I'm just going exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, it looks like I'm filling in a yeah, little bit of area there, but it seems like the edge of this map is actually the edge of uh, the actual the actual map, like the level itself. It's kind of strange. Not sure what the deal is with that. Look like it was going to be a cave or something. Guess not. Fine. Yeah, back to the cow grove. Alright, which way am I facing now? Is this, uh... Okay, yeah, this is just... Heading back up to the... Uh, the village, I suppose. Whoa! Hello there. <laughs> uh... What should I do about you? I wonder if... I wonder if I'll jump off of that. I don't know. I've got plenty of health on me. Are you gonna jump? Nope. Boom! <laughs> it's kind of weird that he exploded. It seemed like he was kind of far away. Whatever. Well, um... Yeah, I guess, actually, you know what, I've got plenty of uh, blocks of wood on me, so I could go ahead and put these in the furnace and uh, get those turned into charcoal. I think if you actually use charcoal to, or you, you use coal or charcoal uh, to make, or sorry, to, to cook the wood to uh, get more charcoal, uh, it's actually... Uh, an efficient process. It actually does. Um, it doesn't just have a one-to-one -one kind of trade. It actually does end up uh, giving you more coal that way. If that makes any sense, probably not. Whatever. It's a pretty big tree, fortunately. Can't remember if it's just one piece of charcoal that comes from every block of wood or not. We will see. Been a while since I've done some good old fashioned wood gathering. Ah. This is not a nice place to be <laughs> chopping down a tree, having all of this sheer drop all the way around me. Uh, actually, sand is, yeah, let's not use sand, do dirt. Yeah, with these big trees, I always feel like I've got to take out the entire tree, or it's it's like a taint on the world. You can't leave it there. It just seems to just mess everything up. Hopefully those aren't falling off the cliff. Nope. Okay, good. 
it's hard to tell a lot of the time there's some pieces there a lot of hard to tell a lot of the time just where uh the rest of the wood blocks actually are uh can i get that Is that everything? I think this would be disappearing a little faster if it was... Oh, there we go. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Thought it could have fallen there before I was not paying much attention. Actually, I could fall anyway with these things disappearing like that. So, did I get everything? What is that red thing right there? An apple. Huh. Oh, there's another one. Huh. Never seen apples in this game. I didn't even know they existed. Cool. Well, I guess as being Minecraft, the problem with it is I never know what, besides eating the apple, obviously, I'm never know what to do with stuff that I find until I consult the wiki. Alright, that's got to be everything, right? Man. Sorry, it's taken me like 10 minutes to knock a tree down, but anyway. Do I have any? No, no saplings on me. I just threw it away. Woo! High up. Chuck a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, I'm throw some of this sand away. Well, I'm actually going to need quite a bit of sand to fill in a lot of those gaps that I left building my uh, underground base thing. There's quite a few gaps there, so I'll just chuck some smooth stone. Doesn't really matter out here. Um, stone bricks don't really matter either. Um, okay, well, I don't need all that much dirt. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and probably cook the rest of that beef first just so I can stack that in the same stack as the steak here? Stack with steak. Well, I'm not really sure. What the best course of action should be right now. Um, there is, I mean, I, I suppose I could have just gone the opposite direction, uh, cut back across, and then go uh, straight where the other side is, like I mentioned in the last episode, but I just didn't go because it looked a little less interesting, but there's plenty of green on the map there anyway, so. Could be fine. I just hope I don't find another one of these walls like this. This is very annoying because <laughs> I, I want to be able to just continue exploring but it's pretty difficult when it just stops like that so it makes like kind of the whole thing feel like a waste but I don't know I don't know if you have any suggestions for that feel free to let me know uh, I'm I've been considering maybe just starting like a new world just so I could actually see some of the new things that I haven't seen yet like fortresses or underground mines or uh, jungles or whatever because there's a lot of stuff that I still haven't seen yet and I feel like I should have been able to see so far but um, yeah I don't really know if you if you want me to create a new world then uh, let me know that, that would be totally cool with me I'm down uh, all right, what was I gonna? Oh yeah, charcoal. Go ahead and put that there. Yeah, if you didn't know this trick, I mentioned it a few times, but uh, yeah, you can create charcoal using coal. You can just burn the wood uh, with anything and uh, get charcoal out of it. So it's an alternative to mining for it. But what's kind of weird is charcoal and coal are actually different even though they have the same icon they won't stack so just uh, be aware of that so yeah I guess it does only do one for every block of wood so 
with the relative lack of trees around here, um, I'm going to probably just have to make it, make my way back, um, eventually and just follow my little trail of torches here. Yeah, sorry about the bust, guys. I wish um, that this sort of adventure would have been a little bit better. Um, I guess it's pretty much all my fault for just going to the same location where I'd been before and not remembering that uh, there was nothing here. So, sorry. I'll make it up to you. Maybe. Okay, uh, let me put a charcoal to cook the wood into more charcoal. That's what I was saying before. Uh, one little piece of charcoal will cook probably, I don't know, you guys know, you always tell me, I can't remember how many things it cooks, but it'll cook plenty of it. So uh, it is pretty much all you need is like wood uh, to be able to create uh, more like charcoal to create torches and everything. So since all you need to create uh, the torch itself is two sticks which come from planks, which come from wood, so. Yep. Survival Tips 101 from the guy who never wears armor. Let's see. Sorry, this little tree here just seemed like it was asking to be gathered. I don't know what I'm doing, still lingering around here, so I'm going to uh, head back on my path. I think there's two paths. I think I must have cut back over, so I guess... Oh! Hmm. I wonder if this is a cave beyond uh, this gravel. Hmm. I can't stand to be around it anymore. Hmm. Let me throw it away. Yeah, I got um, plenty of comments on the uh, Birth of a Creeper short that I made, sort of trying to, like, picking up the references. I reference, like, three main movies on that one. Um, I think someone accuse me of ripping off those movies where I mean I, I guess technically that's true <laughs> I definitely was referencing them but um, yeah I guess uh, there's a lot of people who are saying oh it's like the the alien pod from alien versus predator yes while that's technically true um, I would say that would be the alien pod from alien <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know, seems like uh, a lot of people out there probably ought to brush up on their, on their movies. If, if uh, Alien vs. Predator is the only movie that you've seen in the Alien series, then uh, I definitely recommend watching the, uh, the very first ones. Ridley Scott directed Alien in the late 70s, and then um, I guess James Cameron did Aliens, the sequel, a little bit later, and they're both excellent. Do recommend. Uh, yeah, I hated Alien vs. Predator. It was, it was stupid. Not the game, just the, the movie. I've almost completely forgotten it kind of on purpose. This is kind of nice. I can actually talk when I'm following these torches because I don't have to think about anything. I just follow them. I need to do more stuff like that so I can... <laughs> not thinking, I mean. But yeah, the other movies I referenced uh, were The Matrix, obviously, with the pods and everything, and uh, Blade Runner. I was surprised how few people picked up on Blade Runner. Um, <laughs> it's, I think, my favorite movie of all time. But, uh, yeah, I put a, I guess the big pyramid-looking building at the end of it was a reference to the Tyrell Corporation building in uh, 
Blade Runner and the whole feeling of the whole thing. I kind of was going for a Blade Runner-ish kind of feel. Uh, but yeah. Don't really know why I'm talking about all that stuff, but a uh, little bit of insight into something that you probably don't care about. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to deposit all of this crap, so I won't, um, I won't bore you with that because I'm going to be thinking and therefore not talking because I'm not good at doing both at the same time. All right. I realized, I think, that I don't have a section in here for weapons. Uh, miscellaneous might be able to house a bit of that, but not really. So I might end up dedicating this last one to weapons. Seems good. Yeah, you can see here I picked up uh, some more coal. I've got charcoal and then coal, and if you try to put it on top of it, it'll just swap it. So, kind of weird. Uh, let me put this leather in miscellaneous. There we go. And I think I'm going to make some more tools because all of these are pathetic. Let's go ahead and make another sword. And put it right above it. And let's see, I've got another pickaxe. So I'll just do another axe, I suppose. And that should be good for now. Seems like a pretty good survival kit, I think. Um, I don't feel like there's anything in here that's just taking up way too much space. Uh, shears, I mean, I, I really don't need those, actually. I'll go ahead and put them back. But then I'm sure I'll find, like, a huge sheep farm somewhere where I'll be shooting myself, but... Oh, well. Dang it. Getting nighttime. All right, we'll go ahead and sleep, and then I will embark in the opposite direction. If you think I should, uh, like, go out to sea or something... Oh, yeah, I gotta wait for it. Actually, let me, let me close this up again to be sure. Uh, if you think I should embark, like, on a boat and uh, just kind of continue really far that way, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, I guess the only reason that I wouldn't want to is because of uh, not having the ability to lay down torches to mark my path. So, yeah, that would sort of be the only case against it, I suppose. But, um, yeah, just like not being able to find my way back could be an issue. See, I look at this map and I try to figure out like why did I get to the edge over here and stop and it makes me think that maybe I found the same kind of edge of the world thing that was on the other side so uh, if if that happens again then this entire episode is going to be a major fail this one's running on running along a little um, but I just didn't want to leave it at something completely stupid since that the since going in the other direction was kind of a bust I didn't want to didn't want to leave it at that so probably end up being like a you know, 10 20 gig file or something it's pretty amazing how uh, huge these files end up being oh gosh it's hard to see oh yeah I didn't uh, put torches well shouldn't need torches too much further than this I guess because I can see that that is the direction I need to go. And I've got my map anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. At least there are trees over here. That's good. So I don't have to worry about charcoal or anything. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Let's see, is that? That's charcoal. Go ahead and make some more torches. I guess I'll just... Well, I won't use them all, because I may need to uh, make another furnace. So... Alright. Onward. This looks uh, somewhat promising. I'm not totally sure if I've seen this before, if I can remember it or not. I think I do vaguely remember coming here. 
It's been so many episodes of this thing. It's kind of crazy. Oh, hello. A ravine. Yay, a new feature. <laughs> new is relative, I know, but uh, it's new to me. I've never actually seen one, so. Excellent. All right, well, it's not a total bust. Go figure. Okay, well, on that extremely positive note, uh, I guess I'll end it uh, for this one. So stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you then.